is 237 Hanover Street, uh, Colin Lomans has filed two applications for every one of them. One with the City of Boston's Inspectional Service Department for a 236A Tango, and one with the City of Boston's Licensing Board for a Common Victuals License for close closing hours at 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's on April 3rd, and 7 to midnight on Friday and Saturday. Just so you know, 237 is the old hot tomatoes right next to the Trestor. If you're not familiar with the address, once again, Mr. President, thank you, Dan Toscano, uh, representing Collar Gomes, who, to my immediate right, who needs no introduction to this neighborhood, to my far right is uh, Joshua Green, who is the uh, executive chef over at Tiramia, who is the proposed manager and new chef over at, uh, which would be Cobblestone Cafe, which is located at, will be located at 227, 237 Andrew Street. As Stephen has mentioned, that is the former location of Hot Tomatoes which closed down November 30th of 2012. Uh, Kyle was fortunate to uh, sign a, enter into a lease agreement with the landlord, um, effective January 1. As Stephen mentioned, we have two applications pending. One is before Inspectional Services Department, um, and that is to remove an existing proviso. The, the proviso that exists right now, as you see in all small takeout restaurants, is where 36A that allows you to get the takeout is granted to that petitioner only. For example, the 36A was granted to Hot Tomato, the owner Philip Consalvo, um, at that at the last CBA meeting hearing. We need to remove that proviso and grant the new 36A app, um, takeout to the new owner. So that is the only issue before the Inspectional Services Department, is that the only issue that's going to be heard at the Zoning Board of Appeals? The second issue is for an application that was filed last week for a common victual license to be, offered, to be uh, issued at that particular premises. Um, it was filed how, as a new application, however, I've been informed that this could possibly be very well a, a transfer without a hearing, and I'm in the middle of, of really finding out whether we need a hearing so that I don't have a hearing date for the licensing. So just because there was a, an application, there was a CP license that was existing at that location. So we may not have to have a full hearing. The hours of the last application of the last CP was 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. This is slightly changed. This would be from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday through Thursday and the midnight on the Friday and Saturday. Uh, and, and speaking with uh, Carla, we, we originally want to file for the midnight, but we want to be able to comply with the good neighbor agreement. Um, and Carla does not anticipate being open past 11 o'clock on the Sunday to Thursday. Um, as we stand right now, nothing really needs to be done. We are putting some new kitchen appliances um, there is no real structural work that needs to be done. We are putting in some common um, along the sides of the establishment, uh, on both sides of the establishment. So for those who have never been in there, it's approximately um, maybe a thousand square feet. I mean, roughly about 500 square feet upstairs, which will be a service area only. And the kitchen is downstairs, approximately 575 square feet of floor just the entire kitchen that's downstairs in the first floor. We originally wanted some seats. Um, the original application was to have 10 stools. However, we've come into an issue with a bathroom situation where customers are not allowed to walk through the kitchen to go to the bathroom. Therefore, we eliminated from, uh, from our application. But I will let the, the board know I am not a way to get around and get a variance, I am going to file an application before the state's plumbing board for a variance. And if I'm, able, if I'm successful, then I would be allowed, that wouldn't be a violation of the ZBA, but I would be allowed to put 10 seats uh, or stools there. So right now, ISD is simply removing the existing proviso and the new 36A for the new owner. Anyone on the council have any questions? The menu is, uh, and I can't Josh really explain the menu, but I do have a copy. I think this copy was supplied to uh, the president. The menu with a full plan, uh, really sandwiches, uh, kebabs, burgers, um, some small pasta uh, dishes, uh, wraps, healthy wraps, healthy wraps uh, 
Josh and I will be the, the chef at the location. And how about the venting and no venting system. There, there was a vent that the former owner put in there, but I think a new venting system that will run because we're going to put a gas line in there. And as of right now, we're working with the fire department whether the vent has to go to the roof or can it is a back alley that if it can just stay stay in the back and not go up to the roof. But I think ultimately we're going to probably going to have to go to the roof. Trash will be uh, contract. Uh, Carla has a number of establishments that this board knows very well-run restaurants. Uh, she contracts with JRM Disposal. That will be the um, the disposal uh, company we'll be using. All bins, and this is part of the lease agreement, I believe, all bins have to remain inside, can't be stored outside because Shrestha Restaurant, I think, has access to that back of that. And I think that there's some residents in the back of that building, Mechanics uh, Street. So bins will be put out on the front at the end of the business uh, Day and then stored inside. Anyone else in the council? No signage. signage is not good. What we talked about, I believe the signage is going to be pointing, it's going to come down the court. And as you okay. can see on Tintigo Forno, is the block letters that are up against the wall. That is what we're looking at. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure it's yeah, it just hasn't been finalized, but it does have to go through any signage, it has to go through BRA design review so they can approve it. But right now, we're Considering not the awning, but just the block letter. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, what, what the the name name? it's going to be Cobblestone oh, Cafe. Cafe. Anyone in the uh, call day have a question? Yeah. We deliver. We yeah. Yeah. Who else? Anyone have a question? Simple CP license 36A is basic stuff. And while he's in here, song. if you're in such a generous mood to give out an alcohol license, <laughs> you're breaking my beer and wine for <laughs> Cafe uh, Little Italy. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't give out liquor licenses. Well, I mean, at least keep in favor of it. We supported the little Cafe Little Italy. Oh, no. no. You didn't. <laughs> you did, Stephen, did. but nobody else did. <laughs> Just saying. Can anyone want to make a motion to support or oppose? I'll move. I think we accept the application uh, by Carla Gomes at 237 Hanover Street. The two applications for uh, ISD, the 368 takeout, or the licensing board for a common visual license from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., uh, except on 7 a.m. to midnight on Friday and Saturday. I'll second. And I'll be second. So, um, Bill Lane, there's a motion to support um, from Bill. It's seconded by Ann Devlin. All in favor? Nine. Nine nothing. Congratulations.